What is happening team JCD? It's Monday and after a relatively relaxed weekend, Monday, I've been running around like an absolute lunatic. Um, I'm running behind schedule. It's about four o'clock now. Sorry I'm late checking in with you guys. There's just been plenty going on. I've had lots of jobs to look at, customer meetings, all of which have gone well, but it's just been super busy. First, one of the jobs I had a look at, Adam will put some, uh, put some footage here, a little montage, is some drainage work that we've got going on. They want the entire site cleaned, all their gullies and nacos, which is probably about a week's work, to be honest. So there's plenty of gonna keep the boys busy with that. Yeah, I mean, I'm considering recruiting again for grey water drainage because of the work we've got coming up and all other bits and pieces so I'll have to keep you guys up to date with that. So I've just come over for a customer meeting um, at one of our metal practices we do near the office and it has just started raining. Let's jump in the car because the cameras don't do well when they get wet. So yeah I've just come over to see a customer um, and uh, yeah have a catch up. I haven't seen this particular lady in a while to be honest. Karen, business manager at one of our sites. Um, they just had a CQC audit which went really well but she wanted a few bits and pieces changed on the cleaning schedule and she also asked us to do some new bits and pieces which is um, which is a plus. Busy week this week. I Busy today, literally rammed all day with varying bits and pieces, customer meetings, jobs to look at. Tomorrow we've got a large repair job, that was it. Got a large repair job that we're going to um, to have a look at or to do in Croydon. So all the lads will be up on that one. We've got Ben B up there from Blue House with Steve. Mitchell's going up there. I'm going up there. So we'll all head up there. Hopefully I'll catch up with the customer while I'm there. Wednesday, I've got a bit of a free day. No, I haven't. I'm lying. I'm literally losing a plot this week. Wednesday, I am down at one of our contracts. We've got a new piece of drainage kit coming in. A new camera system, which should make our reporting much easier. Um, I had an old camera. Uh, when we first started which wasn't that great we've upgraded to um, Met Vivex Metrotech systems they're much better but I'm now upgrading our reporting software we are going over to iTouch boxes on all of our Metrotech cameras which will enable the guys to be able to produce reports literally instantaneously because at the moment there's a little bit of a lag between them doing the surveys, me taking that footage off, inputting it into a software like WinCam or something like that that's just commonly used in the drainage sector, getting that all typed up and there can be a quite a lengthy delay. Customers like to, oh, I want my report now. So um, the new iTouch boxes will help with that. So I've got James from iTouch coming down to see us at one of our contracts. He's going to spend a day surveying with us. Thursday, I am at the Hill Club. That's it. I'm remembering now, it's coming back to me. Hill Club, networking event for the cleaning industry. And then Friday, we've got a podcast guest, but I'm not going to tell you who that is just yet. So yeah, super busy day. Not much other footage going on for Monday. But tomorrow, repair job, loads of B-roll. I'll see you guys in the morning. ...to these devices, but this is universal. It's just about being human. That if you know how to push the right buttons in a human into a bit of a fiend for whatever the thing is that it needs, and that people decay our humanity. Yeah, yeah. What is happening guys? Tuesday morning. We are up in Croydon. Time is about 9am. Today we have got a big repair job on. We've got a barber's that keeps flooding. Um, and when we surveyed the line, it was a while ago, um, we surveyed the line, multiple fractures in it. Um, it's in a real bad state. It's an old um, clay pipe. So we're going to spend the day doing repairs. We've got plenty of patches to put in. We've got to do a radial patch and we've also got to do some lining. So there's lots going on today. We've got Ben from Blue House Drainage because obviously he does the lining. We haven't got that kit. We can do the patch repairs, um, but the lining, especially the UV stuff, is highly specialist. So, um, so Ben's with us today. And yeah, we're gonna get these patches in. It's quite a big job. It took a while to get approved, but it's finally approved. Well, I know the guys, when they got here, they were here a bit earlier than me. It was blocked, so they've unblocked it now, and we're gonna get going with these repairs. Let's go.
นะเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี๋ยวเดี
Jordan Hurley, he's a rock star in the industry at the moment, as I like to call him. He's got a company, Sopo2, fantastic sustainable soap company. I'll tell you guys more about that, but this guy is absolutely smashing it at the moment, and I can't wait to hear his story. What else has gone on today? A podcast episode, we've got Lewis Biryani. His podcast is out today, talking all things recruitment, so if you haven't already, head over to the Cleaning Up Business podcast on our YouTube channel, or all your favorite podcast platforms, and check out that. That wraps up Wednesday. Lots going on. Hill Club tomorrow. See you in the morning. Morning, gang. It's Thursday. The boy's dressed up. He's got a shirt on. Chinos. Middle class. Today we are going up to the city. I haven't got my microphone with me, so the um, the audio might be sub-quality than usual. But you'll have to make do because I don't want to lose the microphone because um, it's a little one and I'm out all day. I haven't got a bag with me, so I don't want to lose it. Um, so yeah, I'm just walking to Ebsleet Station. Um, kind invite from Chris Forbes at the Cheeky Panda, so thank you, Chris. Haven't been on the Hill Club. It's a networking event specifically for the cleaning and hygiene industry. Um, I've been meaning to go on several occasions. Cars have never felt that way, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, we're getting up there today, and hopefully we'll bump into a few familiar faces. I know um, our friend and colleague Ollie Rastel is going. Um, I believe Jordan Hurley from... Soap, who actually got a podcast tomorrow, Chris Forbes. Um, so yeah, a few faces we know, and obviously people we don't. So that's the idea of networking. So um, yeah, just walk to the train. Let's see how we get on. City, just got off the tube at Tower Hill. I'm going to take a quick walk down to meet Chris Forbes at the Cheeky Panda HQ, which conveniently is right where we need to go and get on a boat because today is the Hill Club's annual boat cruise where they take a boat up and down the Thames, so that should be quite pleasant. So I'm just walking along and then we're going to head back to the pier and get on the boat. So let's go see what Chris is up to. just finished our networking event at the Hill Club. It was good, lots of familiar faces, lots of people that I have connections with on LinkedIn that I maybe haven't met face to face. A um, couple of podcast guests that we've got coming on. So yeah, it was an ultra useful day um, and it was good conversation. So um, I'm now with Ollie. Hi boy. Here he is. And we're going to have a few beverages straight down this way navigating them because they're from up north hampshire is that up north it's north north due, Burn, due west due west. Due west then so yeah it's a useful day good networking event lots of people ollie you find it all right great day i love to see all the people in the industry it's, it's it's one of those things where you wonder where it's worthwhile but it always is every single time no. and yeah yeah nice to take some time on the boat and uh yeah it just chat all things industry mate ollie's just got a range of babysitter now which is in the process of doing and we're going to go and have a few beers so that's going to wrap up thursday i'm taking the rest of the evening off the kids are away the wife's away so i'm going to have a few beers catch you in the morning we made it to friday yesterday was a great day at the hill 
pub, probably had too many beers with a few of the guys after, but hey, that is what networking is about. Adam's joined me, we've got the podcast stuff in. I've rung our guest today, Jordan Hurley from Soap 2 to make sure he's alive. Good news, he is. So we're gonna head down to London now. We've got all the stuff and then we're gonna get set up and get this interview done. I'm really looking forward to this one. Let's go. like Fort Knox but we've managed to get into the car park it's a nice meeting room just near Surrey Keys in London so nice and south of the water for us me and Adam are going to get set up I guess Jordan is on the way and then we're going to get underway with this podcast so Adam's going to do his thing and get set up <laughs> 